calming signals are the communication signals that dogs will give to other dogs to indicate that they're non-threatening. So it may be to appease or it may be to say, it's okay, I'm not a threat. They also have the effect of self-calming. So dogs will use them to reduce low levels of stress in themselves. And they will use them to other dogs and they'll also use them to us. So what are these calming signals? Well, Tura Rugas, um, Norwegian dog trainer, she has documented them all in this very useful little book called On Talking Terms with Dogs, uh, Calming Signals. So some of the things that you might see are the dog may lick their lips, the dog may yawn, they may turn their head away from the thing that they're concerned about. They may blink rapidly. They may shake off so the dog that when you stroke them, they then shake off is often self-calming. They may sniff the ground. Um, they may obviously do that if there's something interesting to smell, but it also can be a displacement activity and something which says to the other dog, hey, it's okay, and look, I'm not going to bother you. They may scratch themselves. They will, when they're being polite, always approach another dog in a curve rather than straight on, and they may offer play bow behaviors or stretching behaviors. This is a language of communication that dogs use all the time. And we can use it ourselves back to them. So if you yawn at your dog, try it. Yawn at your dog and see what they do. Blink at your dog and see what they do. It can be a very gentle way of communicating. But also if we can recognize those signs really early, then we can avoid the situations that the dog is feeling uncomfortable in. So if your dog offers a calming signal when you touch them in a particular area, you can move away from touching them in that area both indicate to them that you've heard them, that you've listened to that communication, but also to let them know that all they need to do is give you those subtle signs and they don't have to uh, move on and escalate to something that's a bit louder. Mm -hmm.